Welcome back to What's New. That music means it is time to see what's clicking in Cleveland, also known as Stephanie Haney time. That's true. And today <laughs> it's also who's coming to Cleveland. That's right. Who is coming to Cleveland and will be clicking and is clicking already because our good friend Al Roker from the Today Show is back in Northeast Ohio and he's here today. He's making a stop at the University of Akron tonight. He's the featured speaker at the Delta Gamma Lectureship on Values and Ethics. He'll speak on the importance of humor and the power of a positive attitude. And our own Betsy Kling will emcee the event. That starts at 7.30. And tomorrow, he'll be right here at WKYC Studios hosting Go at 6 a.m. So set your alarm clock for that one. Now, with the Cleveland Guardians opening up their Major League Baseball season on the road in Seattle tomorrow, we've got your 2023 preview up on WKYC.com. Our sports analyst, Ben Axelrod, has laid out three things to watch for this year. Question number one, can they avoid a sophomore slump? Last year, the Guardians tied the team record with 17 players making their Major League debuts and still won the American League Central Division by 11 games. So all eyes will be on those returning for year two. Question number two, what will the team's offseason acquisitions, first baseman and designated hitter Josh Bell and catcher Mike Zunino add? The team will be looking for these two to add much needed offense to their game. And question three, what will we see from the pitching team? For a thorough breakdown of this answer, you got to read it straight from Ben, and that's on WKYC.com. Okay, now for our question of the day. Tonight at 432, we have a new report on whether or not you really need those 10,000 steps every day. So we want to know, are you still tracking steps? Is that still a thing? And if not, how do you track your activity? Post your comment to the WKYC Facebook page and in the Three What's New Facebook group, and we'll talk about it after that report. And Jay and Chrissy, this is just in just a little bit ago. We have exciting news. Brandon Krastowski, the owner of Edwin's, is a finalist for a James Beard Award in the Outstanding Restaurateur category. Now, this is a very prestigious award to be nominated for. Congratulations, and we're excited to announce the winners will be announced on June 5th. So, good wow. Adam. Excellent. Congratulations. Huge honor. Uh, fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. And congratulations just on being there, right? Yeah, sure, just All to right. be nominated. Just to be Huge. nominated, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Thanks.